12 year old Kenosha County girl is battling brain cancer but getting a lot of help doing it. There's a big event planned for tomorrow, the community to rally support and have some fun while they're at it as well. Spearheading the effort, familiar face, Kenosha County Sheriff David Beth is with us today. Sheriff, great to see you. It's nice to be here. Then. Uh, tell us a little bit about your connection to this cause. Uh, your kids go to, uh, your daughter goes to school with Amanda? My daughter Kenna goes yeah. to school with Amanda. She's a seventh grader, 12 year old at Brighton Elementary School. And it was kind of a no brainer as far as I was concerned as uh, jumping in and trying to get people to, to help support this. So, so I'm excited to do it. I'm not excited about why we have to do it, but I'm excited that we're able to do it. Well, I'm sure that's the kind of thing that uh, Every once in a while, the kids can come to you and say, we've got this going on. Can you help? Well, I'm the sheriff. Sure, I can throw my weight behind that. I got a little pull once in a while. <laughs> Every yeah. once in a while. Well, tell us a little about the event because you have a lot of different things going on. One of the things is dodgeball. Uh, how is that all going to play out? Well, I'm trying to get Channel 4 down there, actually, to come and play. We have a dodgeball tournament starting at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We've got a spaghetti dinner starting at 3 o'clock, and it goes till 7, and dodgeball until we get done. And, and I run a dodgeball tournament for the last three years, but this year we've got 37 teams that have already signed up to come and play. So it'll be a huge, huge event for us, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, I imagine you expect a lot of support from the community. Uh, you know the people there, and they always, uh, when, when someone calls on them in a situation like this, it seems like you have a lot of people down there that step right up. We do. We're, we're gifted in Brighton to have people like this. And actually, somebody asked us in the last meeting, well, we need to have lists of volunteers. I said, we don't need lists. I said, we're going to have to <laughs> kick people out because so many people want to be in the kitchen helping. And tell us a little bit more about Amanda and, and, and how she's doing. How's her battle? Uh, just before school started, Amanda uh, was diagnosed with a brain tumor. And she's been, uh, she was up in the hospital in Milwaukee for uh, a quite a long time. We actually saw her a couple of times at a couple of volleyball games in the last few weeks. And she's weak, and she, she, she's struggling, but she's strong. She uh, loves horses. She loves 4-H. Uh, uh, so she's very active as a 12-year-old in the community, and uh, we're trying to help her get back out there again. I hope we can get some more people out there for you, Sheriff. Great to see you here. Thank you. A couple more details. Dinner and dodgeball for Amanda. Again, it's tomorrow with activities running from 3 until 8 p.m. at Brighton Grade School, corner of 75 and 142 in Kenosha County. A very cool.